Welcome to Today in Nerd History for June 3rd. The Star Trek episode, Turnabout Intruder, aired June 3rd, 1969. In this episode, a vengeful scientist, Sandra Smith, exchanges bodies with Kirk, then attempts to take command of the Enterprise. Turnabout Intruder was the final episode to air of the original Star Trek series. Remembering Morris Evans, born June 3, 1901 and passed away March 12, 1989. Morris Herbert Evans was a British actor, noted for his interpretations of Shakespearean characters. His best-known screen roles are Dr. Zias, in the 1968 movie, Planet of the Apes, and as Samantha Stevens' father, Morris, on Bewitched. Happy birthday John Dykstra, born June 3, 1947. While well known for his work over the years in such movies as Silent Running, the original Battlestar Galactica, Life Force, and more recently, Hancock, and X-Men, First Class, Dykstra is best known for his work on Star Wars, and he was the special photographic effects supervisor for Star Trek, the motion picture. Remembering Ellen Corby Born June 3, 1911 and passed away April 14, 1999. Ellen Hansen Corby was an American actress and screenwriter. She played the role of Esther, Grandma, Walton on the CBS TV series The Waltons, for which she won three Emmy Awards. She was also nominated for an Academy Award and won a Golden Globe Award for her performance as Aunt Trina in I Remember Mama. Although she had bit parts in more than 30 movies in the 1930s and 1940s, including Babes in Toyland and It's a Wonderful Life, her first credited acting role was in RKO's Cornered in which she played a maid, followed by an uncredited brief speaking role as a kitchen cook in The Locket. She began her career as a writer at Paramount Studios working on the western Twilight on the Trail. Over the next four decades, she worked in movies and TV, typically playing maids, secretaries, waitresses, or gossips, often in westerns, and had a recurring role as Henrietta Porter, a newspaper publisher, in Track Down. She played the elderly Mrs. Lesh, the crooked car peddler, on CBS's The Andy Griffith Show. She guest-starred, as well, on Wagon Train, Cheyenne, The Guns of Will Sonnet, Dragnet, Rescue 8, The Restless Gun, The Rifleman, The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, Fury, The Donna Reed Show, Frontier Circus, Hazel, I Love Lucy, Dennis the Menace, Tightrope, Bonanza, The Big Valley, Meet McGraw, The Virginian, Channing, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Batman, Get Smart, Gomer Pyle, The Adams Family, As Lurch's Mother, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Invaders, Lassie, and Night Gallery. From 1965 to 1967, she had a recurring role in the NBC TV series Please Don't Eat the Daisies, based on an earlier Doris Day film. Her best-known role came as Grandma Esther Walton on the made-for-TV film The Homecoming, a Christmas story, which served as the pilot for The Waltons. She went on to resume her role on the weekly TV series The Waltons. She was the only adult actor from the original Homecoming pilot to carry her role over to the series. The series ran from 1972 to 1981, and resulted in six sequel movies. She left the show November 10, 1976, owing to a massive stroke she had suffered at home, which impaired her speech and severely limited her mobility and function. She returned to the series during the final episode of the 1977-78 season, with her character depicted as also recovering from a stroke. Remembering Edward Winter born June 3, 1937 and passed away March 8, 2001. Edward Dean Winter was an American actor probably best known for his recurring role as Colonel Samuel Flagg, in the TV series MASH from 1973 to 1979. His other notable roles include U.S. Air Force investigator Captain Ben Ryan in Season 2 of Project UFO, Hollywood Beat, 9 to 5 and Herman's Head. He received two Tony Award nominations for Best Featured Actor in a Musical, for his performances in the original productions of Cabaret and Promises Promises. He also appeared in movies such as A Change of Seasons, 
Porky's 2 the next day, and the buddy system. Happy birthday Susie Plaxon, born June 3, 1958. Susie Plaxon is an American actress who appeared in four different roles in three Star Trek spin-off series, namely Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager, and Star Trek Enterprise. Born as Susan Plaxon, she provided the voice of Monica Devertebray on the 1991-1995 TV series Dinosaurs. She appeared on the 1992-1995 TV series Love and War in the role of Meg Tynan. She has also appeared in the films Disclosure, Wag the Dog, On Edge, and Red Eye. She also had a recurring guest role on Mad About You as Dr. Joan Golfinos, the partner of Paul's sister Debbie. She had a recurring role as Marshall's mother on How I Met Your Mother. Happy birthday Sharon Thomas Kane, born June 3, 1946. She is the actress who played a bar waitress in Star Trek III The Search for Spock. She is married to director Christopher Kane since 1969. They have one son, actor Dean Kane who starred along Terry Hatcher in Lois and Clark, a television series where Thomas played several minor parts and guest roles. Among her acting resume are films such as Grand Jury, Sixth and Main, Cuba Crossing, The Flamingo Kid, That Was Then This Is Now, Young Guns, Pure Country, Eating Las Vegas, and Fire Dog. Happy birthday Ann Winters, born June 3, 1994. Ann Christine Winters is an American actress who has played roles in the FX's series Tyrant, as Emma L. Fade, ABC's Wicked City, as Vicky Roth, and Netflix's 13 Reasons Why, as Chloe Rice. She also starred in the movies Sand Castles, Pass the Light, The Bride He Bought Online, Mom and Dad, and Night School. In 2017, she began starring as cancer patient, Mia Phillips, in the series Zack and Mia, for which she won the 2018 Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Digital Daytime Drama Series. In the third season of The Orville, she played the role of Ensign Charlie Burke. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>